So this is the completed part that I designed the other night. It's for my um, my rainbow car project. So I've got these rainbow lights that are going to go in my car. And I'm building a custom control box. So I needed a way of holding all of the um, electronic components. So I designed this little mount platform. And uh, this actually didn't work out. It uh, It's a good idea. And I just need to tweak some things on it and do another design. Um, that's why, you know, 3D printing is great because I can turn out a prototype, check it for fit. If it doesn't work, I can, I can do more. But I've got an outer frame and then that's the plate and then there's going to be a cap that caps it all off. And basically this works great. This is where this attaches. It's got some mounting holes on the bottom. And basically what happens then is I can assemble it all from this plate. So you got my voltage converter that takes everything down to the, to the 5 volt logic voltage that I need to run the system. So that's a really nice fit and the wires just kind of go in here and then I'll have a little plate that comes across that holds that in. And then I've got this latching relay assembly and uh, this guy mounts in there. The main problem is, is that um, it didn't fit. So this is, um, you're dealing with molten plastic. So just because the part has a certain dimension um, in the CAD software doesn't mean that's going to be the actual dimension that uh, you receive from your completed part, at least on these consumer level printers. Uh, so you kind of got to design around it and it's kind of an estimating process. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. In this case, we lost.